Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wet test on another Korean sunscreen. And it's going to be the Daily Go To Sunscreen. This one is SPF 50 and PA++++. So if you're interested in this product, please continue watching. So this is the brand called Peruto. I got this sunscreen from Stivana.com. And this one is also UVA and UV protection. It is senseless and weightless. And this is how the bottom looks like. Open this up. Okay. It's a little bit yellow tinge. So far, it feels very smooth on my skin. Now it looks a little bit oily for my oily skin but I'm going to let it dry down a little bit and apply another layer to see if there's any pills. Okay, the sunscreen is very uh, creamy, very smooth. But I feel like the finish is going to be very oily for my oily skin. And definitely no pills. I'm going to wear the sunscreen for the rest of the day and see how it does. It has only been one hour and my skin is so oily. Um, the sunscreen is definitely not for oily skin. I mean, you can definitely see the grease on my face. Wow. It has been more than 8 hours and this is how my skin looks like. Now this sunscreen is super duper oily for me. It's definitely not for oily skin. I mean this is the second layer on my face only. But it is just crazy oily. The formula blends really well. And absorbs into my skin really really fast. And absolutely no pills. But it's not made for oily skin. If you have really, really dry skin, you may like this sunscreen. Otherwise, I think this sunscreen is just too oily to use on your face. Just like one of my other Korean sunscreens, it is the Beauty of Joseon. And this is the Sun Relief Rise and Probiotics SPF 50 PA++++. This sunscreen is super oily. It's as oily as this Daily To Go sunscreen. And it has the same color, a little bit of yellow tinge and the consistency is very very similar so this sensor I did not make a video because I did not like it right off the bat just because it's just so oily the one good thing about this sunscreen is that it doesn't peel My current favorite Korean sunscreen it is my Aqua Bomb sunscreen by Kahi. This sunscreen is on a matte side and it's in this packaging that is really cute and convenient to carry around. I can wear this sunscreen all day long and it doesn't get any greasy on my skin. And it's so easy to apply and carry around. And this is something I definitely feel like I can use over my foundations and under my foundations. Let me know what is your favorite Korean sunscreen. I would love to try it out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And like always, I will see you next time. Bye.